Oh my god, this is like iconic that this is happening right now. Hey, my name is Lore. I am a content creator living in the greatest city in the world. And welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll take you all around New York City and I'll record it all on my camera. Please enjoy today's video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, what up? My name is Lore, so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today's a good day to have a good day. It's actually probably one of the best days of my whole entire life because I'm finally, long awaited, it only took until the last week of school to film with my daughter, my new best friend, and the love of my life, Miss Ashlyn. My name's <laughs> Ashlyn Kate XO, is that what it is? <laughs> yes, it is love. Ashlyn Kate XO. Love! This is my literal mom. We'll get into why she's my mother yeah. and why this is so long awaited because of our first time meeting being so long ago, but I love this girl the most and I'm so glad we finally got to do this. Yes, we're doing a collab because Ashlyn also has a YouTube channel. So yep. after we shout it out real quick, we are going to tell you why that's important to say. So what's your channel? Tell the fans. So my channel is Ashlyn KXO and I just make a bunch of college vlogs, fashion, lifestyle content. Basically, I'm just striving to be lore someday. <laughs> no, Ashlyn, I wish, as you can tell, like I'm in a Fordham sweatshirt. She's looking like so cute right now. She has like some of the best style I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I was actually Stop just it. talking to my mom about it the other day. I was like, imagine if I dressed like this. Like, don't hide me up like it that. It would be a different world. Don't hide me up really like that. Would. And it's important that we mention that she has a channel not only because I want you guys to follow her, subscribe to her, do all the things. It's actually how we became friends. And mm -hmm. I think before we start the video, it's super important to share how we became friends. So you want to tell the story? I yeah, like. I feel like because it for me it was like a, like a little like. Oh, <laughs> Which is so funny. See, when I was trying to decide on what school I wanted to go to, I just would like search on YouTube like vlogs from this school. So like when it came down in the end, I was between like Fordham, which is New York school, mm -hmm. the best ever, and then I was also between Elon, which is a school down south. Yeah, which is so crazy. Which is so, so different, different, different than each yeah. other. So I was trying to make my final decision, and like on YouTube, if you literally search Fordham, the first name that comes up is all of her videos. So basically, <laughs> after watching all of her content, I was like. I need to go there. I was like, this place looks right up my alley. It's everything I want to do. So then fast forward to, I came for an early program called Urban Plunge. I always forget about this part of the story, so I'm glad you mentioned it because I forgot, but keep so going. So <laughs> it was an early program, so I was there earlier than like the other freshmen. It was like a community service thing, and she was there early because she is an orientation leader. Mm -hmm. So she was there for her orientation leader training, and basically I saw her walking, and I was like, oh my god, that's the girl who I love her videos. So just from afar, I yell, Hey, you're Lore. I love your channel. And you're like, oh my god, thank you. It and was, we both were with groups, so we had to keep yeah, walking. It was like so in passing, and it was like actually probably one of the coolest moments of my whole life. Cause that was like not I don't I don't wanna say it was like the first time, but it was one of the like real real first times with people back on campus that someone like said something about my videos and stuff because like when I was here through COVID yeah. during my sophomore year there weren't really a lot of people like maybe one or two people came up to me like here and there but there was just like no people on campus. Well you deserve the hype up so when I saw you I was like oh I gotta say something to that girl. Wow it's amazing and then we never saw each other again for months months, for months probably like then. majority of the year yes. to be honest and then so then we are in this fun little place called Mugs, Mugs together. Sports Bar and Grill. <laughs> so we were in Mugs together and she was filming a Tina Tuesday video. Yes, I was. Oh uh, the iconic Tina Tues moment. And I saw her camera and I was like, that's such a sick camera. I was like, I want to find out what camera that is. Plus, it also was like a little excuse for me to talk to Laura again. Oh, so, so you fun. knew who I was again. Like oh, you yeah, remembered? Okay. I remembered. I was like, oh my god, there's Laura again. I was like, I haven't talked to him forever. So then I asked her her camera was, and you were like, oh my god. I was like, you might remember me because I came up to you like on the first day when I was here for a pleasure. Like, I remember and I you. Flipped. I was like, oh my god. And ever since then, I just remember in that moment, I was like, this is gonna be my new best friend. Mm -hmm. Because then she started telling me that she made videos. Yep. And then we were just like talking about it. We had a whole conversation about it in Mugsies, and then the rest is history. And now we're here. Yep. And we thought it was only appropriate since Ashlyn found me and information about Fordham through a Fordham video, we filmed a Fordham themed Q&A asking all the peeps any question that they wanted to know. Literally anything you can think of, we're going to answer today. I pulled out some of the most popular and just most, you know, frequently asked questions. And we're going to answer them from an upperclassman perspective and an underclassman yep. perspective. So that's it. Are you ready to go? I'm so ready I'm to go. I'm so excited. This video is going to be probably one of my favorites. First question is, what made you choose Fordham? Lore. Oh, I was going to ask you to go first. <laughs> no, no, like that's my answer. Oh, 
I was like, oh, you could go first if you want. <laughs> oh wow, thank you. <laughs> I was like, I would, just, I literally just explained the whole thing of like how I found boredom from like your wow. videos and stuff. So, honestly, simple answer, lore. Wow. Okay, simple answer for me is not gonna be very simple, but I'll try to give you the spark notes. As you guys are aware, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I transferred to Fordham, and um, my dad went here for undergrad and grad, so I always knew about the Fordham you know, name in my house. I also did the shows at Fordham Prep when I was younger, so I was on this campus a lot. That's so cracks. I know, it's so weird. Um, I like see the building and I'm like, oh. Like, I was like 15 in there, you know what I mean? I know, I'm like 21, so weird. But yeah, so Fordham was always in my life. So when I made the transfer like at a very weird time in the world in my life, I knew I still wanted to be a New York City and I wanted a place that I could get a really good education for the major that I was going into which I'm sure we're gonna talk about in yeah. another question so I needed like the good business school I needed like a good program and Fordham just kind of fell into my lap I would never think in a million years that I would be sitting in this room right now that I'd be on this campus right now um, it's not what was in the plan but sometimes like I said to Madison big shout out today once we stray off the path we know that there's something good there. Exactly. There's a reason that you go off. Everything you know happens I mean? for a reason. I agree. Yeah. So that's my little answer. Next question, what has been your favorite class and why? Ooh, well, at the moment, I've only been doing my um, core curriculum. Right, yes. Okay, so, <laughs> but so far, that's an underclassman perspective. Yeah, so, so favorite core, let's Core curriculum it. has been quite interesting. I'm a big communications and media girl. Which is amazing. Compared to math and sciences, so, uh, there's been a lot of classes that haven't been my fave, but I've had some professors, like, I feel like as long as you build a good bond with your professors and you actually, like, participate and, like, show that you're trying, like, it honestly, like, makes it go by pretty smoothly, but my favorite class so far was probably my comp 2 class, which is part of the core, so I skipped over comp 1 and I went to comp 2 because I took, like, AP. Which um, you can do at Fordham, and I think yeah. you have to get a 4 or 5, right, or yeah. is it just a 5? So my favorite class actually has been this year, it is a Gabelli course, it is called Consumer Behavior with Professor Genevieve O'Connor. I don't even care that I'm saying her name on here because I think she's actually one of the best professors I've ever taken in my whole entire life. Um, it's just a class about marketing, advertising, communications, it's everything. You can take it as a non-Gabelli student as well, which is really nice for those who, you know, are FCRH, and it's it's amazing. I couldn't talk more highly of her, of the content, of the course. It was so much fun. Oh, we also, I feel like, should share our majors. So okay. I said, yeah, so Ashlyn's a freshman, and your major is? Communications and culture. Love. Are you doing any minor or anything? Or? I think so. My favorite human being ever, my advisor here, she was telling me about possibly doing a double major in okay. digital technology and emerging media. Which is DTEM here for yeah. sure. I'm sure you'll hear that if that's what you're interested in. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna double major in DTEM because she told me it's like the easiest double major to do and then mm -hmm. just looks really good on like your resume. Of and course, if you wanna go into this stuff as well. Yeah, so, so obviously great. we're all about the resume here, so gonna throw that in there. At Fordham for me, um, I do marketing and communications. So we have a little bit of a business school perspective. We have a little bit of Fordham College Rose Hill perspective. So just wanted to put that out there. So also. So Ashland lives in South, for anyone who's wondering where we are right now, we are filming in South, and I'm sure you just heard the Metro North train, South does border the trains. So. If you end up living in South here, basically you'll learn how to fall asleep to the noise of the train going by like every 20 minutes each night. I love it's that. quite interesting. Yeah. So what is Fordham like? That's a very broad question. Like if you were giving a tour and someone was like, what is the vibe of Fordham? What would you say? Because I know my answer. If I would say the vibe of Fordham, I kind of would say like, it's kind of like the vibe of New York City in general, mm -hmm. where everybody just is kind of like you do you mentality, mm -hmm. where everybody's so different here, but we all have like one thing in common of wanting to be in New York City. Mm -hmm. I feel like is a majority of why a lot of people decide to come to the school. Yep. So like everybody's so interested in such different unique things, but like we all have like that one similar factor in common. Yeah. So like some people just like choose to go into the city like every day and do stuff there. Some people don't go into Manhattan at all. Mm -hmm. Some people go out at night a lot. Some some people don't. Some people are very active in all the unique clubs we have here. Some yeah. people choose not to. It's really like you do whatever you want to do and it's not like anyone's going to stop you from making any decisions. Yeah, I agree. And I think just to piggyback off that and put it into like a one big sentence, 
it's very work hard, play hard here. Oh, 100 percent Yes, that That's is it. that is the vibe I always tell people on my tours. Put it in big on guide. the screen. Yeah, work hard, play hard. Yeah. That is the ultimate vibe of Fordham. Everything Ashlyn said holds so much truth. Um, and it's just a really great environment to be in. Like I have never felt so happy at a university before or at a school before, probably since high school. And I loved my high school. That was like the best four years of my life. Um, and I was so sad to leave, but I'm so happy going now, like into my senior year next year that I just know like the best is yet to come type yeah. of thing. You know what I mean? So I think Ashlyn said it perfectly, but I would say for me, like simplest terms, work hard, play hard. Yep. The juicy, the juicy question that everybody wants to know, what are the best places to go out? And does going out in the city cost a lot slash add up? Also, I want to preface that if you go to school um, at Fordham, you can choose two different campuses. There is the Rose Hill campus, which we're at right now. That is in the Bronx, Arthur Avenue, iconic. And then there's also Lincoln Center, which is on 60th Street, 60th and Columbus on the Upper West Side in Manhattan. So you can choose which, like between the two campuses. For us, we both go to Rose Hill. So I want to talk about Rose Hill specifically. Okay. So when we say going out in the city, I want you to talk about going out in the Bronx okay. because Ashlyn, I will say, is a going out queen. I don't know if I am up to par. <laughs> I think my old lady, like junior year, has like caught up to me, and I'm like, well, I can't. also like freshman year. Yes. It's kinda, like, no, no yeah. judgment, literally at all. Like I love that you go out. Like I love it. I'm just here for a good time, and not a long time. Truly, <laughs> exactly. Four years. That's it. That's it's already have. like this year has gone by so fast yeah. already, and it's now like I can't believe I already have three years left of college. I know you're going to your senior. It's oh, disgusting. I can't even say it. I know it's gross. I can't say this out loud. Come on, give me the bars. Give me the bars. Let's let's name them. <laughs> okay. Um. So we have last call. Last call. We have mugs. Mugs. We have Howl. Howl. We have barnyard. Barnyard. And. Is that it? No. I mean, the Tina. most iconic one of them all, Miss Tina. Oh, Cantina. <laughs> Tina Zeus. Yes, Cantina. Those are like mainly the places that we, you know, rip down here in the Bronx. Um, but of course, there's a million places in the city that you can go to as well. But I would yeah. say those are the bars at Fordham. All super fun. When I was like an underclassman, it used to be like Howell is an upperclassman bar where like Barnyard was like a freshman bar. But like that's just like not a thing anymore. Yeah. I think honestly, when those seniors left, like from my sophomore year, like people it were just like, up. yeah, like I would say like, we have like a picture and last call together and stuff like that. Yeah, like, there's no like rules per se on like who can go where, whatever. Like people just like all vibe. But I will say, since Fordham is a bar school, we also are a sports house school because we I was have, say that. We yeah. don't have Greek life here. No Greek life at Fordham, which that's a common question. We do not have Greek life at Fordham whatsoever. Uh, there's nothing here. It's a Jesuit university. So mm -hmm. if you're not at a bar or in Manhattan. We don't have frat houses. Yes, we have you will be. Houses. You will be at a sports house. So there's like the baseball house. There's like the multiple rugby houses, the hockey house, the lax house. Can't forget about yellow. Oh my god, yes! There's so many. Shout out to our water polo boys. Gotta love them. Big shout out. Shout out Mark and Victor. Op for you. Op for you. Op for you. Hashtag <laughs> op for you. Go follow them on TikTok. Just going out in the city costs a lot and add up. Since I don't buy alcohol, I feel like. I have no clue and we're just gonna be honest with you here like yeah. that's just like what it is I think in the city like the biggest thing is like covers to yes. get into places mm -hmm. so it's kind of you have to expect and cash it's cash it's all it's usually cash because the thing is they used to use Venmo a lot more but mm -hmm. Venmo like changed their rules apparently so if they use Venmo they have like an extra fee that they mm -hmm. then have to pay separately yeah I feel like Howell does that all the time it's like 20 to like covered again in with cash and like 30 to Venmo and I'm like bro like that's so extra yeah but so whatever. it's really like cash is a necessity we do have like ATMs here and like Which is nice. I would recommend if you're going into Manhattan like get cash here mm -hmm. before you go in because it's not as easy mm -hmm. I think to get cash out in Manhattan but besides that it's really up to you how much you want to spend mm -hmm. in a night I feel like you could really answer this question because I feel like you do this a lot mm -hmm. do you hang out with other New York City colleges and then they put like NYU Columbia etc or is there a division I feel like you do this a lot your lips Look really good too. Sorry, that was just oh, like a random thing. Thank you. So I have a few friends at Columbia and I have some friends at NYU too. It's usually just like it kind of comes from if you know people from your high school that ended up there that you'll randomly like build a connection of like, mm -hmm. oh, now we're both going to school in New York City. Like, let's stay in contact and reach and, like, out and reach out to each other. Yeah, don't be afraid. Even like kids from like surrounding high schools, yeah. that reach out to because you're in the same boat as everybody else. Like exactly. coming in freshman, you're like you don't know anybody. And honestly, a big tip is like it's so good. I think, and I love that Ashlyn does this as a freshman. It's so good to talk to people from other schools because you might want to go to a party. Didn't you like spend your Halloween at Columbia? Was that yeah. you? Yeah. 
She blogged it, so make sure I you did watch blog it. it. So I'm just saying, it's like that's so fun, and, like, and you then you have something else to do. Once like the your friends from your high school start to meet people yeah. from their schools, like then they'll introduce you to people. So like my friend Jordan like introduced me to some like the sweetest people I've ever met. Yeah, and you would have never, Columbia. you would have never done, would have never met mm -hmm. them if it wasn't for Jordan. Let's hear about classes to avoid. Core. I'm kidding. <laughs> you, have to take them. you have to take the core. I know that's what I was gonna say. The only classes that I didn't like were some of my core classes, but honestly, like they're not even that bad. Like yeah. so obviously, like I said a million times. We go to a Jesuit university, so you do have to take like theology and stuff like that People always are like oh like make sure you take a good theology class I will say I got stuck taking and the only reason I got stuck taking is because I had to register so late my mm. sophomore year because I transferred so late I got stuck taking this class called Byzantine Christianity and I was like oh my god This is gonna be so boring like blah blah, blah. and I really actually liked it So I would just make sure when you're talking keep about like mind. classes exactly That's exactly what I was gonna say keep an open mind and just give it a sec like it's gonna take you more than one class to know you know what I mean so even if you start to get a weird vibe like when I did this semester I didn't like I went into like my first week of class and I was like I can tell I'm just gonna hate this yeah so I just transferred out of it that yeah. week and, and I, I love that they to, let you do that and went to a week. different class the same week and I will say though avoid astronomy at all costs like absolutely don't take it <laughs> that's what I'm taking next semester I'm gonna drop it <laughs> Drop it. And this is why this video is helpful yes, for everyone. Drop it right now. Is it hard living in New York City and not living in a borough like Manhattan? I'm gonna say no because Fordham has so many transportation vehicles that you can take. You can take the Ram van, you can take the Metro North, you can take the subway. Like yeah. there's so many easy ways to get to Manhattan from Fordham. I don't think it's hard. The only challenge that I think of is here. The money management. Aspect. Yes, I know my parents are watching this right now. So a shout out to them for oh, big shout out. helping me trying to learn how to budget this year. Keep an eye on that bank account because yeah. that will dwindle like yeah. real quick, real fast, real quick. But it's worth it. Yeah, if I you're think gonna, so too. If you're gonna live in New York City at some point in your life, might as well be during college because you're gonna come out of college in debt. Either way. Yeah, either way. So spend all the money now. I always tell my friends, Sophie and Cindy, big shout out. Or the money will come back, the time will not. Facts. Next question. I heard it's more like a high school schedule. Is that true? What's a typical class week look like? Mine is not a high, like a high school schedule. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I had block scheduling in high school, so I had long classes. So I've always experienced like a 80 minute class. Like we have three hour classes here, which mm -hmm. is nice that meet once a week. So the week is kind of divided where you would have either a class twice a week on Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, Friday, yeah. and then Wednesdays. And you can have them on all the other days too, but Wednesdays is most common to have a three hour, which is like an 8.30 to 11.15, yeah. a 2.30 to 5.15, like something like that. That's what um, my comp two class was and that was my favorite yeah. one. So I had this semester autistic literature on Mondays and Thursdays at 10 to 11.15. Then I had consumer behavior from 11.30 to 12.45. And those were both Monday, Thursday. And then Monday night from 2.30 to 5.15, I had integrated marketing. And then Wednesdays, I had like media, culture, and globalization from 8.30 to 11.15 Wednesday morning. And then I had a big gap. And then 2.30 to 5.15, I had understanding audiences. And then I had off Tuesdays and Fridays. Yeah. So that was me. What about you? Would you have this my semester? classes? I had nothing on Wednesdays, which was really nice because a lot of my friends are in Gabelli, mm -hmm. and for them, like they usually don't have Wednesday classes. Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't know if that's just like a freshman year thing, but really, they I have Gabelli had... class on Wednesday. I, maybe it's a freshman. Yeah, year. I don't. I was gonna say, um, I but I liked that. having not having classes on Wednesday because that's when my friends were all off. As and well. you could go to Tina Tuesday and like party it up. <laughs> and then I had on Mondays and Thursdays, I had theology at 8.30. Try to avoid 8.30s at all costs. I've had so many 8.30s this entire school year and it just is like you think you're gonna go to bed early and then like you're just like up and, and you just, think you're gonna wake up and you think you're gonna be good to wake up and then all of a sudden that alarm goes off at like 7.30 and you're like, no babe. You're like, I can't do this right now. And then you yeah. have to force yourself up. That same day, I also had at four o'clock my theater class, which was my favorite class. And then I had on Tuesdays and Fridays, I started off from, I went from 8.30 to around like 12.45 because mm -hmm. I went from my European history class to my Spanish class to my DTEM class. Love. That's a good schedule, honestly. Yeah. Do a lot of people take classes at both campuses? And the answer is yes. So out of my classes three out of five of them this semester were actually at lincoln center and that was not by choice that was like because they 
only were offered at Lincoln Center. Also, something fun fact that people don't always know, if you are a Rose Hill student and you take the Ram Van to Lincoln Center, you get free passes on the Ram Van. And that's vice versa, of course, if you're a Lincoln Center taking classes yeah. at Rose Hill, which is really nice. So you get free transportation. You don't even have to pay for the train, which is really nice. What year should you move off campus? It really depends. Yeah. I know people that are sophomores uh, that live off campus. I know people that are seniors that live on campus. It's yeah. really a personal preference. You are living in the Bronx. There are people that are not college students living there. So yeah. it's just your personal preference, I think. I know. So for personally, like for my grouping of friends, mm -hmm. basically everyone's living off campus besides me because my parents didn't really want me off campus yet. Which I, is fine though. And it just doesn't all really good. matter. Yeah. It's all good because the way we have it planned out is like, even though I'll be on campus, like when they have classes on campus, like they can come to my dorm between mm -hmm. classes. And then when we go out on the weekends, like I don't have to walk back by myself to the campus because I'm just going to stay at their apartment. Yeah. So it's kind of like... You kind of get the best of both worlds if you have some people on and off campus. Definitely. And like, even though, like, at first I was like, oh, this is going to suck. Like, all my friends are going to be, like, off campus. Like, you I have to look at the bright side of it. You which I'm glad that you're doing. And honestly, like, I'm living in O'Hare next year, and I so nice. love O'Hare. So it's nice. so nice in there. And it's honestly, like, a big step up from, I love South, but it is, we call it Sweaty South. Mm -hmm. Because there is no AC. Um, so it's a little bit sweaty, so it's a big step up, so I'm just trying to look at the bright side and honestly like I'm excited to stay on campus I think it'll be easy to get to my classes social options if you don't drink Well, I'm gonna leave it to miss cab queen herself to answer that question because I'm just gonna say the spring weekend was amazing You guys did a great job so much fun and yeah, tell me about some things that cab offers that like doesn't have to do with alcohol cab is our campus activities board which is a grouping where you do like a little interview and if you get chosen to be on the general board then you're a part of cab gen board and then there's an e-board and the whole thing is basically event planning for non-drinking options on and off campus so basically we just had our spring weekend which is our so huge fun. event where we basically bring um artists to perform in like a concert so mm -hmm. we had olivia o'brien queen herself Love her. and then we had christian french who was upset. I was obsessed with him. Yeah, he's, he's the so cutest awesome. ever. <laughs> and then we also have a lot of things where they offer like free tickets to Knicks games, Rangers games, Brooklyn Nets, Broadway shows. Which is so nice. And those are all great options to do if you don't drink. I like, honestly, if you do drink, it's still fun to do. Like, you get to be on so campus, fun. you're with your friends. Like, it's super fun. So, I just wanted to, I wanted to shout out Cab. I, I feel like yeah, I wanted to. I feel like Cab does a really good job with providing, like, a variety of different options. We do, like, bingo, where it's, like, you can, and, like, you get, like, apple prizes and, like, cool. all this, like, really fun stuff. And then we have, like, each season or around finals or midterms. Like, there's just so many different events where you can just come get, like, free stuff. And, mm -hmm. like, who doesn't like free stuff? Love free. So, someone asked, what is different about... Fordham Business School compared to other ones. That's all you. I will say that I think Fordham's alumni network is so incredibly strong, and I'm sure all schools say this, but there's just something about Fordham that is so important when you go here like you just know and it's like Fordham people like to hire Fordham people I tell people in my tours that all the time and there's been instances where I went on job interviews and people see Fordham on my resume and that's literally all we talk about they're like oh my god like I lived in martyrs like all this stuff like it's just it's a really nice connection to have yeah. for perfect example I was just in Bronxville which is in Westchester a little bit above um we were in a bookstore my friends and the lady saw like old lady saw I had a Fordham sweatshirt on and she was like does that say Fordham? I went to Fordham and I was like, we all go to Fordham. And it was just so cute. Like the connection is so great. And she was like, I'm like, I was in the business administration school. That's what it was before it was Gabelli. And it's just, it's just like really nice to have that personal connection. And I feel like the business school really like lays it all out for you. And they're just like, okay, this is what you have to do. You have cohorts, which is really nice. You get a real um, live consulting cup experience like when you're in the business school. So it's a really great place to be. Um, I'm so grateful that I get to take so many amazing classes in the business school. And yeah, it's super fun. So that's my answer. Favorite place to shit on campus? Student Center. Yeah, I was gonna say mine's obviously the New Megan Lee Center. Yeah. Um, I do like the Basin of Hughes as well. I'm a big fan of that. Definitely not the South bathroom. It's oh, too it's, hot in there. So I got a question that said, what is the best freshman dorms to live in? And obviously it might be a little bit biased, but I do love myself my sweaty South. So <laughs> honestly, it's just such a social dorm. It is. And 
my our security guard Victor best human being ever we all <laughs> love Victor we are our RA is our security guards everyone is just so nice here and it just works out really well like gives you a really good entrance into Fordham living yeah, you here you meet a lot of people you meet so many people here and like low shirt's pretty much the same thing but I, I don't know why like I always would hear south more than yeah low shirt everyone says south low shirt and martyrs those are the top three that people yeah. always give and honestly like all of them are very similar but it's just like south just kind of has the reputation of being like the very social dorm which it's nice once you get to know people you'll like know people on each floor and mm -hmm. we'll just like run up and down like the floors and just like go to each other's room so it's pretty entertaining super cute <laughs> living on campus do you feel safe on campus somebody asked that i feel very safe on campus because we do have a lot of security for people to get on campus like obviously like anything can happen anywhere yes yeah, so you are in new york city like i always like to tell yeah. people that so many questions i get on tours is like is this a safe campus like you're in the middle of new york city you're in the middle of the bronx like obviously like i'm sure like turn on the news like you know stuff happens yeah. here you're in new york city anything is bound to happen but yeah. i personally walk around half naked on arthur avenue at like 4 a.m and nothing happens so you know i'm just being honest no that's I'm facts actually what do you recommend for people not in gabelli who don't get as much career prep help because i will say gabelli is very big on the career prep so what have you found um helpful for you it's been a bit of a struggle i'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie but i've been starting to figure out like what the best bets are if you're in rose hill you basically like just have to find your ways around to get what you want to figure out like it's not as direct as gabelli so like i figured out like this Career Service Center really helps a lot. And I was gonna say career, yeah. Career once services. you take your first like classes in your major, you find one teacher that is really helpful for you, and then they can just help you figure everything out along the way. The most awaited question. Hopefully, we can get this in before the camera dies. What is your favorite part about Fordham, Ashlyn? Go, give me it. I'm not ready. Okay, you want me to go? Yeah, yeah. Okay, my favorite is the work hard, play hard, hustle culture of all the incredible people that are here. I love this place so much. I've never felt more loved and appreciated and just happy at a school before. And it just makes me so happy to be here. And I genuinely look forward to going to school every day. And I think that is so important when it comes down to deciding a school. You need to go to the place where you feel that when you wake up in the morning, you don't want to snooze that alarm. Like You yep. want to get up and you want to go. So very similar mine would be the people and the location obviously new york city is the best city in the entire world obviously. the greatest city in the world obviously frank Sinatra said it best i mean yeah he's not lying he is not lying. city so nice they named it twice that's what i'm exactly i'm just, I'm just exactly facts here. and also the people here are just amazing and you really find people that are really similar to you because i feel like to live in new york you have to have a sort of similar mental mm -hmm. mentality kind of thinking a mentality for new york life. or nowhere exactly so we're all nowhere. here we all have very similar mentalities and that's what i love to see new york is my campus fordham is my school and it's so true when that's you come it. here and you live in new york city and you go to school in new york city for four years you are so ahead of everybody else that goes you to grow school fast. in the middle of nowhere you grow up fast that's exactly what i was gonna say and you get thick skin i think you do for yeah. jobs for friends for relationships with professors you get a thick skin and i'm so grateful that fordham was you know able to give me that so thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope it was so helpful for you in any way if we answered one of your questions 10 of your questions as always if you ever have any questions never be afraid to dm Reach me on instagram dm ashlyn yeah. on instagram both of our instagrams will be linked down below and i'll put ashlyn's right here and yeah that's it i love you so much girl give me a hug all right well thank you guys so much for watching this week's video if you liked it leave a like comment down below if you don't want to yep. i don't really care and i'll see you guys in next week's video bye yeah. Baby, this is simple.